everyone, I'm Anthony and this is the Biotech Brief where I give you short and simplified updates about the biotech industry. This brief I'll look at one biotech startup's efforts to combat aging with blood transfusion. A California based company called Ambrosia is launching clinical trials for its anti-aging therapeutic which basically involves injecting the blood of young people which they define as anyone between the ages of 16 to 25 into older people which they consider anyone who is 35 years or older. Now if this strikes you as an idea that doctors in the mid 1800s might have tried, that's because these types of transfusions were first performed in the 1860s. However, this specific type of transfusion surgery, known as parabiosis, is experiencing a resurgence following a highly contentious research publication from a Harvard Stem Cell Institute researcher named Amy Wagers. The idea behind parabiosis is for scientists to sew the skin of two organisms together so that their circulatory systems can merge. Wagers, the stem cell researcher I mentioned, actually performed the surgery on two mice and her publication suggests that the blood of young mice improved muscle, heart, and brain function in older mice. According to wagers, these positive benefits were caused by an increase of a substance known as GDF11, which she says is more prevalent in young mice than old mice. However, several studies from other researchers and organizations have challenged these findings, suggesting instead that the GDF11 substance does not play this alleged anti-aging role. Regardless, Ambrosia is moving forward with plans to give about 600 patients four rounds of weekly blood infusions, and the therapy comes with a price tag of $8,000. For now, it looks like the jury is still out on the science, but if you have $8,000 to spare and have been feeling a little slow lately, you might want to check out Ambrosia. Please subscribe to the Biotech Brief YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.